we've applied for a grant successfully for a Hunter Road Force Elite wheel balancer. It is um, used to, after we install a tire, to balance the tire to make sure that there's no vibrations that you would feel going down the road and to extend the life of your suspension components, basically. The things that we've got that are an advantage over the previous balancer we had is it has a lift that can actually be used to bring heavy tires up so that our students who are not capable of lifting the tires can install them easily without injury. Um, it has a road force component that actually simulates the vehicle being on the ground and uh, 1,200 pounds of force is applied to the tire and that can check for um, tread separations and things like that in the tire that uh, may not be readily apparent by the eye. Well, it's touch screen now, which is pretty cool. Um, it, can, it has all kinds of TPMS sensor data in there that's stored. Um, so if you need to reset sensors and stuff like that, it tells you how to do it without using another tool. Um, it has auto inflation. So all you do is hook this up, tell it what pressure the tire needs to be inflated to, and it does it by itself. So it, it's a really smart piece of technology. Really interesting. More things than I knew it did. Yeah, it's the top of the line thing that you, that's available right now. Yeah. So we kind of have the goal of we want our equipment and things we're teaching to be five years ahead of where we are currently so that when our students go out into the workforce, they're, they're prepared with the new stuff that they're going to see. For, for some things, the older machine's right here, and uh, it's still functional. Um, the light has gone out on the bar on the top, but everything else is still working. We don't use it at quite the pace that, uh, that a dealership would, right? So our stuff seems to last a little longer, but... Um, that's old tech. This is new. This is what our students are going to be seeing when they go out. So, and some manufacturers are, requ are requiring this machine now for their for their installation of their tires. So, um, we want to be prepared for that, right? And have the kids have the kids able to use it when they see it. Um, I believe it was about twenty seven thousand for the entire unit. So that was a government grant. So, we're uh, very happy to receive that. And um, yeah. Well, Conversely, about 13 years ago, that one was 13 grand. So I know that there are lots of them around now. That's mainly what Hunter is installing. Stevenson Equipment in, in Winnipeg supplies them, and that's mainly the unit that they're stalling, installing around the province. So, so we did some training yesterday, but uh, um, we did some, in our, on our prep time, we did some um, instruction with the, the installer, and he showed us how to do it. So probably early next week we'll... We'll start uh, training students on it.